symmetric encryption public key encryption hashing digital signatures can these help to secure data of course yes but how if you would like to know this video is for you let us say that you want to store confidential files in a removable hard drive you may copy and paste the file to the disk but what if someone else get access to the drive they will be able to view or edit files as it is stored in plain text how to ensure that the confidential files are protected encrypted you guess it right by encrypting the files in plain text will get converted to a cipher text which cannot be read by anyone there are broadly two types of encryption symmetric and asymmetric asymmetric is also known as public key encryption you need two things to encrypt a file one is the encryption algorithm and second is the key the encryption algorithm usually is widely known and is not a secret the key that you generate will be the secret for symmetric key encryption we use same key to encrypt and decrypt data let us look at how it works first you need to generate a key then you may input the file and the key to encryption algorithm to generate cipher text you may store the cipher text into any removable drive only the person with the secret key can decrypt and read its contents let us assume that you need to send a file to your friend over internet and you do not want anyone else to read the file you may encrypt the file using symmetric key encryption and send the file along with the key to your friend but internet is a huge network and your file will have to go through several devices like routers and switches before reaching your friend if a bad actor is able to sniff the traffic and get the file and the key then it is possible to read or even worse modify the file before it reaches destination you may use asymmetric or public key encryption to solve this problem this method uses a key pair a private key and a public key if the message is encrypted with one key then it can be decrypted only with the second key the public key can be published in the internet so that anyone can access it the private key has to be securely stored as that is your secret your friend also has to create another key pair then publish the public key you may get your friend's public key and encrypt the file then send the message the message can be decrypted only by your friend's private key so even if a bad actor is able to capture the file it will not be possible to decrypt the file without getting access to your friend's private key you may encrypt file using symmetric key cryptography and then share the key with your friend using public key encryption let us say that you developed a software and uploaded installation file so that anyone can download and install it on their computer what if a bad actor was able to capture the file and inject malicious code that installs a malware along with your software and then send updated installation file to the receiver the receiver unaware of this modification may install the file on their computer as they trust your software how can we let the receiver know if your installer file is modified by someone hashing can provide a solution for this problem a hash function is a one way function 
you may input file to a hashing algorithm and the algorithm will produce a fixed length string. We call it hash value. If you make any changes to input file, even if minor changes, the hash value will change. You may then publish the hash value and mention the hash algorithm used. Anyone can now download the installer file and use the same hash algorithm to generate the hash value. Then compare with the hash value you published. If both matches, then we can safely assume that the file is not updated or tampered. Let us say that you want to send an important file to someone. How will the receiver verify whether it was sent by you? In physical world, you may just sign your document and the receiver can verify your signature. How do we do it for a digital document? Digital signature can help here. We will be using public key encryption along with hashing for digitally signing the document. You should have a key pair generated and should publish your public key so that the public key is accessible to anyone. You should also securely store your private key. You may input the file to the hashing algorithm and get the hash value. You may then input your private key and the hash value to the encryption algorithm. We call the output as digital signature. You may send the document along with digital signature you just created. The digital signature can be decrypted only by using your public key. So the receiver can get your public key and decrypt the digital signature to get the hash value. The receiver can also generate the hash value by providing the file as input to the hashing algorithm. Receiver may now compare both hash value and if it matches, then it can be safely assumed that the document is not tampered. It is also possible to confirm that you send the file as digital signature was decrypted using your public key. I hope you understood symmetric and asymmetric encryption, hashing and digital signatures.